This is a video tutorial by Orange Chicken on how to use Howard C's tutorials for virtual console injection. Right now, I'm loading up my ROM that's to be injected, Ghostbusters, on the Nintendo. Um, and I'm using Windows Snipping Tool to get the screenshot that I'll use for the actual banners. So I save my screenshot in the Images folder, and I always title my folders by the name of the game, the date they're released, and the number of players. So once that's saved, we're going to go ahead and cut the ROM and inject it using Devil Ken's VC injector. So you paste the ROM into the ROM folder in the VC injector folder and go back to VC injector. Then you right click while holding shift and open command window here. Then you type vc.exe and then the name of your wad, dot wad, and ROM. Hit enter and it'll go ahead and inject the game for you. And then it asks you, it prompts you to put in what region you are and then a title ID. Hit enter and it'll go ahead and pack your ROM and then exit. Title.wad is what was created with your injected ROM. So cut that and take it back to the root banner tools folder and paste it there. Then you'll rename title.wad to in.wad so that wad unpacker can unpack it. That'll create a folder that'll output all these different apps. So now you're going to go ahead and use Howard C's U8 tool to unpack the OO.app found in that folder. This will create a folder called OO underscore app underscore out and in that folder you're going to go ahead and extract the icon.bin and also the banner.bin. Go ahead and minimize the U8 tool and move on to the burlet tool. Now you're going to find the burlet tool from the extracted banner bin so open up banner bin out, arc, blyt, and banner.burlet. Now go ahead and change the name to whatever you want. In this case, we're going to use Ghostbusters. And hit set all so that your changes are made. Then go down and do the same thing for the year. Set all. And if changed, if a different number of players, you just go ahead and hit one, one or two. So you save your changes, and the burlet is done. No more hex editing. So next we'll go ahead and make the actual banners. We'll go ahead and find that image that we captured from our ROM. And you'll load up that in the source file. Then you'll choose the destination to be that same folder. Select your console, which in this case is NES, and then all you do is hit make. And you can see a little preview of the channels right there. So next we'll go in and we'll see that it's made three files, banner.tpl, icon, vc, pick, and vc, pick. Cut those and take them to your, your extracted wad. And go ahead and paste and leave behind the banner.tpl. So cut vc, pick, and icon, vc, pick, and we'll put those in a different folder. Go ahead and head towards the banner bin out and paste and overwrite the vc, pick.tpl that's where this one will stay. Now cut your icon VC pick and take it to the same folder but in the icon bin out. So paste and overwrite the icon VC pick and our OO app is now officially ready for packing. So use you the How Howard C's U8 tool again go ahead and select your banner.bin and delete recursive out folders use the LZ77 compression and IMD5 and then just hit pack. Now the icon bin is a little bit different in that you won't want to use LZ77 compression because that will corrupt the icon bin and it'll just show white on the Wii. So pack it up and then go back to your your extracted folder and go select the OO.app 
Now this one's very important to not use LZ77 compression because that will brick your Wii. So unselect that and choose IMET banner info and type in your title which will show when you hover over on the Wii and pack it up. Next all that's left is injecting the save icon so you'll use Howard C's save icon and save title injector. Choose your console which is NES and then you'll go into your your extracted folder and find the banner.tpl next you'll choose the o1.app from that same file folder and you'll change the save title to in this case Ghostbusters and again like the burlet tool hit set all and click inject and that's it so your unpacked wad is now officially ready to be packed back up so go back and select your all of your apps and your ticket and TMD insert and trailer copy them and paste them into the root banner folder now if you're just using wad packer you can go ahead and pack it like it is or you can go ahead and edit the wad packer so that it outputs the file name that you want in this case you can read what I've chosen for my output file and then change this XXXX to whatever ticket ID you want to use for the game. In this case I'm using E30C which is an orange chicken standard template for title IDs. So save that, double click on the wad packer and there you go. You have an injected and bannered VC game thanks to Howard C's tools. So let's check it out.